Hey guys, Anthony, 4 before diesel Just a quick one. Getting a bit tired of people going on about problems with pistons, okay? I just want to be clear, it's not a problem with a piston, and it's not a problem with Toyotas. This is a widespread problem across many brands of manufacturing. Um, they're all manufacturing large vehicles, full drives, um, that are not the most... Um, aerodynamic vehicles they're not light they've just got a four cylinder diesel in them the engines are a lot better they don't wear out but something's got to give now we're not going to crap on about other brands and what problems they have and they do have problems we've picked the best and let's be clear about what the problem is this is a Toyota technical service bulletin from overseas so it's not really relevant that much to Australia but it has got some information that may be relevant now down here where it says production change um, number one, improved injectors to prevent wrong combustion. Just take note of those key words. Improved injectors to prevent. So it's preventing wrong combustion. Because wrong combustion is what causes cracked pistons. Now, below that number two, it's not saying the pistons are weak or the pistons have got a problem. It says the piston shape has changed in order to be more robust so they're basically saying we have tried to make it stronger we've redesigned it changed it to make it stronger now it doesn't matter what numbers on your piston it's all in theory that it's going to be stronger because look 040s crack pistons a little bit they're technically like in your 120 sort of thing the older ones 080s they were meant to be better that's why they changed them but they crack even more have they cracked more because there's more 150s around and it's been going on longer? Look, I'm not sure, but I can't say there's a big change and these engines have been out for a long time, 15 years or longer, whatever. If it was that easy to make the piston stronger, they just make the piston stronger. It's just not that easy, right? All these aftermarket brands that think they're better, like I said, they crack at 90,000 Ks as well. We've had that, so stick with genuine. It's not a problem with a piston, it's a problem with your combustion. But do remember, you've just got a four-cylinder engine. If you want to be hauling something heavy around, or you need more power, so you need to go and get a chip or a tune, possibly you've brought the wrong vehicle, so you can sell it, and you can go and buy a V8 Cruiser or something like that, or you can go buy one of those um, Dodge Ram, those Ram trucks. It's called Ram, can't remember the numbers, with a big V8 engine and all that. So you can do that, or you could, if you just need to go fast and you're not towing, you can buy... FG Falc, FG XR6 turbos, they're fast, don't need to modify those. WRX, you know, Subaru WRXs, there's a WX STI, Honda Civic Type R, there's a lot of fast cars, right? If you don't need a fast car, then stick with your Hilux or Prado, because that's what they are, they're awesome, reliable touring vehicles. They're pretty quick, actually, I mean, we've got the old 120 there, it's 11 years old, and uh, you know what, goes all right, I just... The quiet achiever. You've got the turbo, you've got the torque. Doesn't need to rev and make noise to be quick, but you know, it gets up to the speed limit pretty pretty well. So just make sure you got all your information right. It's not a piston problem. Does that say the piston's a problem? No, it doesn't say that. They're just saying that we've tried to make it we try to make it more robust. Now, again, I said that's all in theory. Did it work? Well, we don't know because this bulletin is dated late 2014. Who knows what came to Australia? 1KD's ended in 2015 for us, so it's unlikely that you know we ever got any change. The piston may not be different. One thing for sure, though, if they were changing injectors um, to prevent wrong combustion, anything built after that date would be better, and that's why we supply only brand new, fresh injectors. Anything that was old or reused or old stock or Chinese copies ain't going to be that. Alright guys, just trying to straighten that out for you. Hopefully that makes a bit of sense. Have a nice day. See ya.